Welcome to FEMAP version 11.2. Now the other neat thing we do with this project curve is I want to capture this extra thickness around the hole. So I'm going to use that same thing. Now I don't want to do any extending and things. I'm just going to do imprint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the surface I want to imprint onto. So that's that back one there. But now I want to pick multiple curves. So I, I want to get all this stuff on there. Even these little guys just to control the mesh later on. But you see it shot that right down normal and projected. And then when I really want to get into some matte meshing, instead of having this circular annulus here, I'm going to use um, another split option we have in FEMAP and just split down in here. So now I'm going to be able to just play with the meshes later on. Now one other thing we need to do on this part, there are a couple of regions where there are thicker you know, there's thicker regions in these pockets that I definitely want to capture. So I need to kind of burn those splits in too into the mid surface. So imprint, extend, clean. I pick that bottom one, pick that one curve, and you see it just shoots him all the way across. And I'm, I'm going to try to get most of that fillet. Same thing over here for this guy. So I got this one rib here that has this little juiced up area. So now I think I've got everything where I want it. So now I've kind of got a real nice mid-surface representation of this part. And this is kind of when the really neat stuff comes in. I'm going to now mesh him. So I'm just going to right click here and set up some sizing. And you know, we'll just take something close to the default, not, not too crazy. And let's go ahead and mesh the surfaces on this connected body. And I need to create a property. Now here's the neat thing. I'm just going to type in point 0.1 pretty close to what we picked for the mid-surface. But I'm going to use a tool we've added to automatically adjust all those. So we'll say that one. And it wants to know what material. So I'll just pick an aluminum out of our library. Say go ahead and mesh it. And it's now meshed. Um, you know, one other thing to really make this slick. Let me show you under feature uh, removal. I can pick these loops and actually add a mesh point. So if I don't really don't want these holes in, you see what's happening there. I'll, I'll zoom in on one so you see it happen. It's kind of removing that hole, but making sure there's a node right at the middle and hooking the mesh to it. So I can do that, and I can just leave these nodes. Then there'll be a place to put a constraint on or whatever I need to to connect it up. So we don't need those holes. But just to show you some other cool tools in FEMAP, let's say here we really do. We want, you know, we want to look at the stresses around these two holes in the big part. So I'll go in our geometry editing. Let's put one of our pads in with a washer. And you'll see what this does. It just burns in an absolutely perfect mesh around that hole and then transitions out to something a little bit um, you know, larger mesh size. So the, the whole thing's not too big. But now we'll have a real nice uh, resolution of the mesh around this area and if you really wanted to make things absolutely perfect you can actually kind of play games like this and, and, and burn in splits and what I'm doing here you can see is is basically burning in that split into the geometry turn the mesh back on oh clicking the buttons too fast so and there here again you can actually play with mesh sizes if you really want to control things and get some matte meshes going. So there's you know there's three elements down there and now I've set up a matte mesh. So you can really control the mesh right around here where you need it. But at this point I want to show you we can capture all those thickness changes. So we added a new uh, update tool that does mid-surface thickness and offset. And basically you just pick the surface this is the surfaces that make up your mid-surface. And what FEMAP does is looking back to the original solid is, 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 is basically setting thicknesses on all the elements. And let me turn on all the thickness and offsets so you see everything. And now you can see where we've captured kind of all those little areas. So where it's thicker here, it's made the elements thicker. We've captured that transition uh, around this annulus here. We've done the same thing. Now, if I really wanted to control it even uh, more, let me go back with a redo. We do have 99 levels of undo. So if I really want to control it more, we could use our meshing toolbox here. And I could juice up the mesh sizing around this hole. 
and let's just say I'm going to go even one more same thing on the outer ring so now the matte mesh is well let's keep going we'll give you more resolution this be fun so now we got that whole kind of juiced up and you'll see when we do the update now uh, mid surface thickness and offset pick the surfaces from the original mid surface and I'll just box pick the screen I think you'll see now we get even more resolution in this area so when I turn on the thicknesses in the cross section you'll see now we've captured a little bit more of the stepping up there and the blends and then turn on the solid you'll see that we are kind of capturing uh, the different thicknesses and different areas with these offsets and kind of very closely matching our original solid. In uh, one final verification, let's just turn off uh, those thicknesses and cross sections, turn off our solids, here's our thing. Um, actually, we'll turn off all geometry. Um, just check the, uh, the free edges, just make sure everything's connected and we see that you know the free edges make sense this is kind of the exact same free edges we had in the the uh, mid surface model so that's some of the tools we've added in 11.2 and some of the tools we already had it but um, just to help you mid surface parts and get a shell representation of complex solid geometry <laughs>